What's going on everybody? Your boy DJ Sadie Manos here. And I got a question uh, by Pete Leon or Leon. I don't know if I pronounced your name right. So Pete asked, how do I make those projects on my, uh, my DMX? My DMX Go, how do I make those projects? And it's very simple. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, very simple. I'm gonna show you two different things that I do. Um, let's open up. First of all, let's, uh, let me apologize for the camera movement. I don't have this high tech stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna do everything by camera. So I might be pointing at something, but the camera's somewhere else. <laughs> uh, you know, it's kind of hard to coordinate, you know, your hand movements with the camera. So right here in the corner, I'm gonna go slow. So right here is the projects. And he asks, how do I create those projects? Right here, I just click on the new projects. It's very simple. Um, now, for example, I have clicked on Kenta, right? This is my light, the Kenta. So I created a project when I take my Kentas only. Um, I, I, I click on that, and when I take my spiders, I only have a couple lights. Then when I take my spiders, I have settings for my spiders. And then when I don't take anything at all, I just take my pars, I just click on pars. See, it load up all my settings, my presets. And on the bottom, it has my presets right here. So, like I did white, of course it's white. We did uh, blue, we did um, red, green. So then if I wanna change it, I click on this and go to Kenta. Over here, I did some settings. I'm gonna, I have a party this weekend, I'm gonna take my, I might take my Kenta. Um, right here is gonna be a Halloween party this weekend. I made a, a, a thing called Halloween. And then basically just changing uh, red, orange, and yellow. And it sound activated. It sound activated, so I stopped the sound and the light stopped. And over here, since it's Halloween, I made one for UV and strobe. See, so goes a strobe. And here goes a UV. So you can't really see it, but it should be UV on right now. Um, this one I hear not on. I think I, don't, I haven't turned that on. Let me check. Battery might be dead. Let me see where we at. Oh, yeah, we're on zero percent. The battery is gone. It's gone. I gotta plug it up. Let's turn it off. So where were we at on this one? We're on twenty-five percent. I haven't turned off these lights. I mean, I haven't charged them up yet. So that one is dead. I gotta charge that one up. So we got three lights on UV. But anyways, that's how. This how you do it. Um, so. There's two, two different ways. If you want to start from scratch, you click on new project. And right here, if you want to start from scratch, you remove this right here. It asks you, you want to keep your same fixtures. That means the fixtures are the lights. You want to keep the same lights. Uh, if you do, say yes. And then it says you want to keep the current presets. And the presets are the ones that you created earlier. You want to keep the same, you know, the same presets like these colors, you know, click on these colors. They ask you if you want to keep the same ones. If you want to start from scratch, you say no. So, this, they said, do you want to keep the same lights? They should have put lights, but this is the fixtures. And do you want to keep the same presets? That's the ones that you already created. If you want to say no to no, you're going to start from scratch. You're going to give you a blank slate. No lights, no presets. But if you're using the same lights, say yes, I want to keep my same lights. But I want to get rid of my, uh, my previous ones. I want to start from scratch. So you say, give it a name. So let's say, uh, I'm gonna start from, from scratch, but I'm gonna keep the same lights and just give it a different name. So I'm gonna say Kenta 2 or something, you know? Call it something else. Kenta 2. So I'm gonna call it Kenta 2. I'm gonna keep the same lights, but just erase the presets. So we're gonna say create. So now we have preset one, preset two, preset three, it's all gone. So I click on these and nothing should happen. Click on the next one, nothing should happen. The next one, nothing happened. It just kept, it just went back to like a basic, um, the settings, like it started from the scratch. So now, that's where you start building up your new presets. You, you know, you start messing around with the lights and stuff. 
So let's say you want to start from scratch completely from the beginning. Again, you click on new project. And then you're going to erase everything. Get rid of the presets. Get rid of this. Oh, hold on, hold on. Before I do that, let's go back. I want to show you something. Cancel. So we call that one Kenta 2, right? We call that one Kenta 2. If you go to uh, your fixtures up here, that's your lights, your fixtures. It should, key, it should have your, 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 I only have the Kenta and my rock wheels. The rock wheels are these right here. My best parts. So I got those two. But when I delete the, the when I go back and create a new one, a new project, and I get rid of the fixtures, it should get rid of everything in the, in the presets. And it's called that Kenta 3, or whatever you want to call it. Kenta 3. So I got rid of the, the fixtures and I got rid of the presets. Create. So now it's nothing at all. See, there's no fixtures. You go back to the beginning. And there's nothing there. So basically, you don't have no lights, nothing working. And to add your lights, to add the fixtures, you need the internet service for that. To add the fixtures, you need the internet service. Right now, I'm hooked up to my, this right here. I'm hooked up to this. So to do that, you need to get out of here. Get out. Click on your settings. That's where my internet's at. And it's going to tell me right now that I'm connected to my smart DMX interface, which is this right here. This is a smart DMX interface. So if I want internet service, I just click on my internet. And it says, do you want to connect to your internet? And I'm going to say, yes, I want to connect to my internet. So right now it's connected to my internet. Give it a few seconds to connect. Um, it says that I'm connected. See, this is right there, connected. So now I'm going to go back to my Go and now I can actually download my fixtures. So I click on fixtures. And now you have the option right here to select the brand, the device, how many channels, add fixtures. So let's do a real simple, simple one. Let's uh, look for the brand. Let's look for American DJ since everybody has American DJ. It's right there. American DJ. And let's do the hex. Let's do the hex. I'm just going to do the bar right here. The first one. Or the, not the first one, but the hex bar. I'm going to see how many channels it has. It has six channels. Let's do six channels. And I'm going to do add fixture. Click on that. So let's say I have four of those. And I want to control each one individually. Like, for example, like this is my hex right here. I want to control them individually. Just add four of them. And this right here, the channels, that's where you want to put your, your IP address at. So if I want to do this one right here, so let's say I want to do the first one. It says channel one. I put this one right here in channel one. It's on channel five right now. I just change that to channel one. So I just... I'll put it on channel one, hit enter, and the next one will be, let's say I, get, I go to the next light, the next light say I need to put it on channel seven. I, let's say pretend this is my next light, i put it on channel seven. Hit enter, and so on and so on and so on. The next light will be channel 13, channel 19, so it'll be one, seven, 13, and 19, or whatever it says. And then each light will be controlled individually. So I can make the first light red. I can make the second light green, the third light blue, the fourth light. Or I can make them all do the same colors. So in order for this to work, you got to go back to your, your uh, connect to the, your interface, your DMX. So right now it's not going to work. Let's add, added all my fixtures. I gotta go back. And I gotta go back to my settings. 
and I got a click clicked on where it says Smart DMX interface. It's not connected. So click on that. And there's a password. I don't know the password from the top of my head, but it should be in your ma menu, the password. So right now it's connecting. Give it a while. It should pop up a little message right there. It says connected to your Smart DMX. So you go back. Of course, it's not going to work because I don't have those lights. I don't got these lights, but if I did have those lights, right now it would be blinking. See, it's trying to do something. <laughs> It'd be funny if it does work, huh? Let's check it out. Let's see if it does work. Nope. See, it's still, still, still saying blue. And if you have trouble, if you're trying to troubleshoot and it's not working, this is what I recommend doing. Hit and refresh right here. You refresh it and make sure it does connect to your your DMX interface. And if it still doesn't work, well, let's go back to my oh, let's go back to my the one that does work. Let's go to Kenta. That one does work. Let's see. Halloween. Like I said, I, <laughs> I'm trying to control this. Okay, see this one here? I connected to my, my, my original settings. It's not working. So this is good good right here that it's not working. I'll show you guys what to do. Click on refresh. And when it's connected, it should blink. It should blink when it's connected. So right now it's refreshing. And you see it still didn't make connection. So step two, what I would do, I will unplug this, this right here. Just unplug the power. And plug it back in. So this is like rebooting your your um it's like rebooting your, your Wi-Fi. You know, when they always tell you my Wi-Fi is not working, they always tell you unplug it, wait a few seconds and plug it back up. So now, see right here is doing all kind of stuff. And when this says right here, Wi-Fi, the green oops, the green light comes on. This Wi-Fi is not coming on yet. Maybe it's my tablet. Let's go to the tablet now. Let's check the tablet. I'm checking the tablet, what I'm looking. I'm doing two things at one time. I'm looking at my settings right here. Let's click on settings. So, oops, 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 oops. That went too fast. So, yeah, see the way it says CenturyLink? It wasn't connected yet. It told, it told me it was, but it was not. So now... The little green little light gonna come on. So now it's connected. Now it's connected. So let's go back to my DMX Go. Open this up. And we're gonna hit for refresh. And like I said, when they sing blink, they're connected. No, not yet. Maybe I, I'm going to shut this off and turn it back on. Let's see if that works. Make sure my TMX is connected. It is. Like I said, I always have this trouble when I'm always installing a light. But when you have everything installed, you shouldn't have no problem. Well, that's what I noticed. So now, let's see if it blinks. It blinked. You guys didn't catch that. So I'm back to my settings. Is it like that too? I look like that. Oh, you know what? My bad. No wonder. Duh. I changed it, remember? <laughs> what number was it on? It was on five, I think. Yeah. Now it's working. <laughs> Duh. See that? DJ City Mine is always having problems. Yeah, always make sure your channels are correct. Here goes your channels. Let's go back. Go back to your fixtures. See the rock videos on channel 5? I should have had this on channel 5, but I was, since I was messing with it, I, I moved it. So there's all kind of things when you're troubleshooting. Um, so things are working now. So, like I said, this is how you do things. Uh, hopefully, I didn't get you confused. Hopefully this troubleshooting thing 
helped you out a little bit. So like I said, when something is not working, always make sure your, your channels is correct. <laughs> make sure that you have internet service, or not internet service, but it's connected here. And this is how you see little Wi-Fi to be blinking. Make sure that this is connected and then make sure that everything is working now. UVs, let's see. See, everything's good now. UV, 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 and this one dead. So this is your boy DJ Seti Manos, and I hope this helped out, help you out. Um, I'm out of here. Peace.